On January 1st of 2020, California's historic Child Victims Act went into effect, opening a three-year window for survivors of child sexual abuse in California to take legal action against their perpetrator and the institutions that protected their perpetrator, no matter how long ago the abuse occurred. This window closes on December 31st of 2022. Father Rodrigue worked as a priest in the San Bernardino and San Diego Diocese for 22 years before retiring in 1983. He also worked in the Diocese of Oakland at St. Albert's Priory in Oakland. Father Rodrigue was routinely transferred from parish to parish due to his serial sexual abuse. Several boys reported Father Rodrigue's sexual abuse to clergy on many occasions, but either nothing was done or Rodrigue was simply moved to a new parish. In 1979, Father Rodrigue pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor child molestation charge and was sentenced to probation, but was allowed to continue serving in the priesthood for another four years until his retirement. After further accusations surfaced, Father Rodrigue was laicized in 1992. According to a 1997 San Bernardino County Sheriff's report, Father Rodrigue admitted to sexually abusing four or five boys every year during his 22 years in the priesthood. It has been approximated that he abused 150 victims. In 1998, he was sentenced to 10 years in prison for sexually abusing an 11-year-old mentally disabled student. Father Rodrigue's name was also included in the San Diego and San Bernardino's list of priests credibly accused of sexual abuse released in 2007. It is believed Father Rodrigue was last known to be living in Reno, Nevada and may have died in 2009. If you or anyone you know has been sexually abused by a clergy member in the state of California at any time, contact us confidentially today. You are not alone.